Hey, Deuce, I saw you down on the field talk with some Texas players pretty long after the game. Um, was it kind of cool to be able to have a, a good individual game against those guys? Um, of course, but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, winning the ball game is the biggest, the biggest thing whenever you step onto that field on Saturdays. And uh, we couldn't get it done today. So, I mean, good game, but it wasn't enough to get the win today. So, I mean, got to get back to work. That was probably a hard question to answer in the moment, but given that you guys did start conference play 4-0, just how, how – why don't you think you guys were able to uh, sustain that throughout the rest of the season? I mean, of course, you can say COVID and everything with, I mean, losing so many guys and guys being out for 14 days, 28 days. I mean, just, I mean, close contacts and everything like that. But, I mean, I mean, I feel like we have a good enough team to win whenever we step up and we come in. I mean, we just got to execute. Uh, as a team, like that's something that we're going to have to work on is just execution and then uh, just winning the, the games whenever it's, I mean, three points or we get to the fourth quarter and we need to pride ourselves on winning those games. Uh, sometimes the ball didn't bounce our way and we have made some more plays than us, but that's something that we're definitely going to work on. And COVID issues and everything, I mean, just have not helped. And um, as you reflect on your freshman season, not knowing if you're going to play in a bowl game or not. How would you, how do you think everything went? Are you satisfied? Do you think you could have done more? How would you sum it up? On the field, I feel like uh, I had a whole bunch of fun this year. And uh, off the field, I mean, I can work on a whole bunch of things as far as being a leader. But that's something I'm going to work on whenever I get into the off season, whether we have a bowl game or not. I'm hoping that we do, we get to play one more time with these boys. Uh, I'm going to work on being a leader and, I mean, that's what's been preached all year. Is, I mean, we need leaders on this team. We need people that are going to take accountability in this team and then pull everybody along with them, and that's something I'm going to work on. So, of course, I mean, Coach Dawson, the strength staff, and everybody, they're going to take care of the physical part during the offseason. But mentally, I'm going to take, take care of the uh, leadership part on my behalf. John? Yeah, I guess you probably just answered some of this, Deuce, but I was going to ask about your offseason plans. I mean, what – what will be the biggest focuses? You talked a lot about the leadership stuff. What about as far as on the field goes? Where, where do you want to improve the most? Uh, just gaining weight and getting stronger is going to be the biggest thing. Of course, like, are you playing against some of the biggest, fastest, strongest guys in, I mean, the, the nation? I mean, they're, they're D1 athletes as well. And that's just one thing I'm about to work on. I'm, about, I'm going to work on while we get into the offseason and everything like that is just gaining weight, getting stronger, making sure that, I mean, I'm also going to take my mental game to try to get to the next level, seeing pictures and just how to watch film even more efficiently than I do now. And I mean, how I can act like just things like that and just make sure that my, my mental game is there as well as the physical part. The physical part will take care of itself because of, I mean, just the great resources that we have here, but the mental side is going to be the biggest thing as well. Appreciate it, Deuce. Thanks. Absolutely. Michael. Yeah, Deuce, is there a point after the season where you're able to uh, look back at your personal performance and uh, accolades that you've received and uh, kind of evaluate what you've done? Absolutely. I feel like it's uh, a great way to build going into next season uh, after the bowl game. Remember things, go back and reflect on things I did well, things I could do better, and then, I mean, just attack this offseason with the guys that are coming back and then just in that time to grind and get better as a football player and a, per and a person and then come back next season ready to go. Thank you. Absolutely. Anything else for Deuce? Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, uh, Deuce, I just wanted to jump in and ask, uh, I know you already were specifically asked about your your game against these, these Texas guys, but uh, did it make kind of special that the other guy who had a really stand-up performance was Malik, you know, who also is a Texas native like you? Absolutely. Malik is, he's, he's a playmaker and he showed that today, of course. Uh, and that just came from execution. And then, I mean, we went out there, we got the ball in his hands and you see exactly how electric he is making guys miss and out and running. And I love Malik. He works hard and that's, that's the dude that's going to be to look out for in the future 100%. Uh, Coach Kleiman seemed to hint that the, the kind of the biggest reason he hasn't been a big, uh, Malik hadn't been as big a factor this year as maybe because he hasn't been, 100% health. Is that is that really all it is? Is just him being healthy these last two weeks? Is why he's been playing so well? I mean, of course, health is going to be something that is big whenever it comes to being able to make those plays and everything like that. But, I mean, Malik, he's a, he's a big-time player, healthy, not healthy. I mean, I mean, I feel like 
uh, of course, injuries and stuff like that and just having to manage those is going to be tough. But, I mean, without a doubt, he's a big-time player.